The report says temperatures last year, which should now be regarded as normal, would have been near record-breaking just over 30 years ago. All of the UK's top 10 warmest years have occurred this century, since records began back in 1884. The Met Office says the rate of sea level rise is increasing by around 16.5 centimetres since 1990. It also suggests spring is coming earlier, raising concerns that plant and animal life are not evolving quickly enough to adapt. Sky's Katerina Vitozzi has the story. Today's Met Office report looks at last year's weather, but more crucially, its impact. 2021 was another year in a pattern of warming. That's changing things we take for granted. Spring is getting hotter and wetter, and the seasons are shifting. Now, the warmer weather has really sped up fruit ripening and, and nuts forming. Now, what that means is, it sounds, well, what's the problem with that? But actually, that happening earlier can have a really disastrous effect for wildlife because they may not have the food source available later in autumn when they need it. So there's real jeopardy for some species here? Yeah, there's real jeopardy. and We're in massive species decline already. What's interesting about looking at last year's weather is, in some respects, how unremarkable it actually was. In 2021, there were no extreme record highs. But why that is interesting is that if you take that 12 months and look at it in a broader context, even without a record high, it was still one of the hottest years on record. Look at this, at how much warmer 2021 was than the average hottest day of the year just a few decades ago. And remember, today's report doesn't look at this year, 2022, that has already changed the game entirely, with the UK average temperature exceeding 30 degrees Celsius for the first time ever. As climates change, extremes become more frequent. Last year saw Storm Arwen batter parts of the UK with high winds and snow. Eight months later, just last week, it was that blistering heat. Our natural world can adapt to gradual change, but shocks like extreme weather, in addition to our warming climate, could push some species too far to a point beyond which they cannot recover.